Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. Welcome back. All right, tonight we're going to compare the lights that you see behind me here. The Modlite PLHV2, the Surefire M600DF, which is the dual fuel version, and then the Cloud Defensive Rain Micro. It's about $1,200 worth of lights right here. And I have done hours worth of compiling a lot of the stats on these to save you the time. So if you can get through this video, hopefully you'll have all the information you need to make a buying decision. More importantly, we're gonna take these out back and I'm gonna show you the beam comparisons in the nighttime footage, all right? So if you're familiar with my channel, you already know how that works. If you're not, stay tuned, you're gonna like it. All right, now first and foremost, I have no relationship with any of these companies, okay? I did buy all of these and this is not a sponsored video by any of these guys. And lastly, just to kind of agree on the premise of this video, I am not a door kicker. I'm not a tactical Uber operator type guy. Uh, if you're familiar with my channel, I've reviewed hundreds of flashlights though. So I am very familiar with what makes flashlights important. Not as much what makes a tactical light important. So I'm going to stick mostly to just the stats on these and I'll let you guys decide. I mean, obviously most of these are battle proven. Surefire, obviously, right? Um, a lot of people say the mod light is battle proven. Mm, maybe, maybe not. And this is the new guy. So probably not a lot of battle provenness yet, but that is a freaking tank. All right, let's get into this. Now, one thing to point out before I start out, there are many, many, many different versions of the Surefire system, all right? Uh, there's a couple different versions of the Cloud Defensive and the Mod Light, both of which have a short configuration like you see here that takes an 18350 battery. And then there's another version that is a little bit longer for both of these that take a, an 18650. These two do not take CR123s and you will void your warranty if you do that. This one in the middle here, the Surefire, is dual fuel. It takes either an 18650 or two CR123s. So all of those power cells are pretty standard nowadays. The 18350 is incredibly popular. CR123s have obviously been around forever, as have the 18650s. Now, again, those two have a longer variant version. And as we go through some of the stats, I'll also point out where the 18650 version differs. Let's get into the output first. So on the mod light, both the short and long variations are 1,350 lumens and 54,000 candela. The runtime on this shorter version is about 35 minutes. On the longer version is 75 minutes. The cloud defensive is 1300 lumens and 55,000 candela. So 50 lumens less in this short configuration than the mod light in the short configuration, but a thousand candela more. If you're not familiar with what candela is, it's basically how it focuses the beam pattern. All right. So if it's got a lot of candela, that means it's a really tight beam pattern and it's going to throw it really, really far out there. Now, on the longer variant of this, it's 1400 lumens and 60,000 candela. So it's about 6,000 candela more than the long version of the mod light. This short version has a 40 minute runtime, so five minutes more than the mod light. And the longer variant is 90 minutes, so that's 15 minutes more than the mod light. Now, this particular Surefire is 1500 lumens. Again, this is the longer 18650 version though but only 16,000 candela. You'll really see this play out when I do the nighttime comparison footage in a little bit. This guy's not gonna reach out near as far as the other two. So quite a bit less on the candela. And the runtime on this is also 90 minutes, just like the longer variant of the Cloud Defensive. Now the lens on the mod light, all I can find on it is that it's a Borofloat glass lens, which allows 99% of light transmission. They say it may or may not be able to take a simunition hit, a direct hit from a simunition, all right? The glass is replaceable. They will either do it for you or they will send you the replacement lens and the tool so you can do it yourself. Now, the glass on the Rain Micro is three millimeters thick. They say it can withstand multiple hits from simunition rounds, and it is also user replaceable in the field. So you can just order a replacement lens and replace it yourself. No special tools needed. And I can't find too much about the lens on the Surefire here. It is a TIR lens, so you'll notice it's got kind of like a magnified look to it in there. So it is a TIR lens. It's gonna do a pretty good job of throwing it out there. Um, I don't think it's gonna hold up against the other two. I can't find anything on whether this is capable of taking uh, simunition hits, nor whether it's user serviceable. So if you know, please post in the comments below. Now again, I'm not, I'm not an operator, all right? I have not put these through a bunch of abuse, okay? I have found videos online where these have been put through, you know, various levels of torture testing. Sometimes it has performed well, sometimes the mod light has failed, all right? Um, I've seen where people say it is battle proven. I, I don't know what that means. And there's probably, uh, you know, various ends of that spectrum. So I'll leave it to you guys to do your research on how battle proven this one is. I will tell you it's, it's 
thin. Um, it doesn't feel fragile by any stretch of the imagination, um, but compared to the Cloud Defensive, I, I don't think this is quite as rugged. Now, this guy is an absolute tank. Much, much thicker, much more robust. This bezel on here, the dark part that you see, is actually S7 tool steel. So they encourage you to use this as an impact device. All right, and again, the lens is replaceable. So if you happen to break it, you should probably just have a spare on, on standby. Um, but S7 tool steel is a high impact steel. So very nicely done on the bezel there. And this guy is probably a blend of the two. So it feels a little bit thicker than the Mod Light. Obviously, these are battle proven, I mean, for decades now, right? So no doubts about the ruggedness of this. I would I would just guess that the, the uh, Cloud Defensive is going to be a little bit more rugged just based on how beefy it is and that S7 tool steel bezel. Um, but no doubt that these are battle proven. Let's talk about the mounting system on these. All three of them use Surefire's Scout mount interface. All right. So you can see kind of those two legs right there. And here is a mount. This is the Haley Strategic version. The Cloud Defensive has a couple different options. This is one of them. It's kind of white labeled for Cloud Defensive though. Um, that Scout mount is hugely popular. There are so many manufacturers out there right now making mounts for these things. So it's kind of a wash. Pick the mount that works best for you, whether it's a pick mount, whether it's M-Lock, whether it's key mod, whether it's a 45 degree offset. I mean, it, it runs the gamut. You can find any mount for all three of these. And let's talk about tape switches, pressure pads, uh, kind of these activation switches. So the Mod Light and the Surefire both use all of the same setups. In fact, the Mod Light can accept the Surefire tail caps. So any of the pressure pads, tape switches, any of that stuff that works on the Surefire system will work on the Mod Light. That is a huge benefit that the Cloud Defense can't boast. Now, will they eventually, Cloud Defensive, will they eventually do that? I don't know. I hope so. There's such a variety of, of switches, tape, uh, tape switches and mounts already out there. I really hope that they do. Um, I'll tell you, I did a quick promo on the Cloud Defensive because they're doing this $100 trade-in offer right now. So you can trade in literally any flashlight. doesn't matter. Any flashlight working or not, and you get $100 off the Cloud Defensive. Um, that's not an endorsement as part of this video. I'm just telling you in that video, somebody commented that it doesn't use, that it has its own proprietary uh, switch, which I'll show you here in just a minute. And that is true. And Cloud Defensive said something that um, I'll roll in here on the screen, but they said our switch has a lower electrical resistance than the others, and they're all made here in house. So would I like to see this adapted to, or a future version of this adapted to use the same set of tail caps and pressure pads and tape switches? Absolutely. There's just so many options out there. Now here is the one that comes with the Cloud Defensive Rain Micro. All right. Now notice there's two buttons. So the one in the front is a momentary and the one in the back is just click to turn on. All right. So you kind of had two options there. Now in terms of waterproofness, the Mod Light is IPX8. They rate it for two meters and at 24 hours. All right. So it can be under two meters of water for 24 hours with their parts. They said they will not guarantee with Surefire parts on there. The Cloud Defensive is also IPX8, but IPX8 has uh, a lot of room for the manufacturer to, um, to kind of define what it means, right? And this one is 100 feet for 24 hours. So two meters on the Mod Light versus 100 feet on the Cloud Defensive. And the Surefire's waterproofness is the least of the bunch. It is IPX7, which is three meters for 30 minutes. I'm about to take these out back and show you the nighttime comparison footage. But before I do, we actually have a sponsor for today's video, including a giveaway. Now this is probably not a sponsor you would expect to see on my channel, all right? So Jake's meant to reached out to me and offered to send me some product to do a giveaway for you guys and to just show you, all right? Now, I smoked and chewed in my 20s. I haven't in 22, 23 years at this point. When they first reached out to me, I was like, eh, I, I, I mean, it's not really me anymore. I don't know that I, and they were like, nope, there's CBD versions, which really piqued my interest. Um, but it's just a, there's no sugar, there's no tobacco, there's no nicotine. It's just like flavor pouches. So think of like gum, but in either long cut or the little pouches. So there's an example of one of those pouches. Um, I shouldn't do this because now my mouth is gonna water when I'm trying to talk to you. This stuff is so good. The green apple is amazing. There's, I think, seven different flavors of the pouches. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta swallow. And, and you can swallow, you can swallow all this. It's just fruit juice. And there's 11 flavors of the long cut variations. Now they sent me tons of different flavors. What I'm gonna do is the first 10 people to respond down below and say, I want some, or let me try that. Sorry, I gotta swallow. Um, I'm going to send you one for free. Okay. Now I'm going to post a picture right here 
of all the ones that are available. Sadly, I didn't get the strawberry, and that's kind of the one I was really looking forward to. The green apple's pretty sick, but I only had one of those. So anyway, first 10 people to respond down below, and I will send you one of these free of charge. All right, up first is the Surefire with the lowest candela level, but it probably will have more flood than the other two. So if you're not familiar with my channel, that barn is 61 yards from where I'm standing, and it's 14 feet tall at the peak. So it gives you kind of an idea of the hot spot on this thing. Now, way back in the dark back there, I can kind of see it, but right, let's see if I can get, do this with the, right there is a white target at 101, excuse me, it's 107 yards, it used to be 101. This is the light output at 61 yards and 107 yards. Up next is the mod light. You can see much, much more laser beam focus. You can easily see that target at 107 yards back there. You can see a very pronounced spill on this thing, that outer circle. But look at the throw on this. That's the 54,000 candela. Throws back to 107 yards with absolutely no problem. Now, both of these weapon lights are obviously mounted up. I'm gonna see if I can do this side by side here. On the left is the Surefire. On the right is the Mod Light, all right? So that's the Mod Light on the barn. That's the Surefire on the barn. Mod Light, Surefire. Mod Light, much, much more pronounced. If I move the Mod Light out of the way, there's the Surefire. Bring the Mod Light back in. A lot more light output from the Mod Light. And here is the Cloud Defensive. So, very similar. I'll put the two, I'll put the Mod Light and the, this Rain Micro up side by side here in just a second. To me, I think this actually is a little bit brighter. It is a thousand more Candela. Um, Let's get them side by side and see how this does. So the mod light is on the right, rain micro is on the left. The mod light looks a little bit cooler temperature wise than the rain micro. I don't know, these are very similar. All right, so hopefully you found that nighttime footage helpful, okay? now. Let's talk about two more things, the, uh, the extensibility of these as well as the price, all right? Because that's the gorilla in the room. Now, there is a handheld version as well as the long one of the mod light, okay? So you can take the head off this and then there's another body and tail cap that you can use to make kind of a handheld and there's a pocket clip that you can use to make kind of an EDC light. So that's pretty cool. Now the Rain Micro doesn't have any sort of variations other than the long version at this time, but they do kind of tease it on the uh, website that because of the three piece design, there's more modular options to come. So we'll see what that means. And to my knowledge, again, maybe there's a third party out there doing something like this. There's no like handheld variations of the Surefire system. Tell me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Now, all that being said, the base version of the Mod Light at the time of filming this video is $309. That is the barrel and the head, all right? There's no tail cap, there is the battery, and there is a janky little X-Tac charger, um, but that's it. And you gotta start adding on. Now, they do have a lot of add-ons from Arasaka and a lot of these other companies on their website. Now, the Rain Micro is $299, so it's $10 less than the Mod Light. All it comes with is the tail cap switch and a pick mount, though. So if you want the tape switch, if you want a uh, M-Lock mount, stuff like that, you gotta start adding that stuff on. So all in all, those are both gonna be pretty close to, if not a little north of $400, depending on what type of M-Lock mounts and you know other accessories you get. And lastly, the Surefire is about $249 depending on where you shop. Some guys say I found it for 188 because it was on sale. Yeah, if you guys have a great place to buy any of these that's cheaper than what I'm saying, post it for your fellow watchers down in the in the comments below. But you know, the kind of the general price is about 250, 309, 299. I take it back. There was three things. One last thing, the warranty, all right? The Surefire is a lifetime warranty uh, for parts and manufacturing defects, things like that. The Mod Light, it's kind of hard to tell. If you go to their warranty page, it just says if something's wrong, we'll give you an RSA number, send it back, and we'll troubleshoot it with you. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna guess they're gonna take care of everything just based on you know the, the company, uh, but it's, it's a little bit hard to tell. It's like they leave a little bit of wiggle room there. And the Cloud Defensive is no questions asked. Even if it burns up in a house fire, they will replace that thing for you. And they have pictures and videos on Instagram and Facebook where they've actually done that for people. Um, if it gets stolen, if it gets damaged, doesn't matter. Anything happens to that light, they will replace it for you. Whew. <laughs> 
That was a lot of information, guys. I tried not to make this video too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. What do you guys think? Which one do you think is the better option? Sound off in the comments below. I'm sure the comments are gonna run the gamut. Um, I like them all. I would say I probably like these two better than the Surefire. Um, I like that the Mod Light takes advantage of all the Surefire accessories out there. Really hope Cloud Defensive does something like that in the future, but this thing is an absolute tank. That warranty, that $100 off, this is a really good deal. But that's all I'm gonna say. I'll leave it up to you guys. Sound off below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Got lots more videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one.